In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to trace through Python code by hand. This example is asking for the output returned by this recursive function that takes in a list of numbers and returns a list of numbers. First, we notice that there's four main chunks. An if statement, which will return back the list when its length is less than or equal to one. The variables a and b, which are set up before going to the for loop. The for loop, which does some work, and the return statements, which depend on the value of b. Okay, so let's begin. We start with the list 5, 44, 31, 7, and 22. This first goes into the function, and we can skip over this list because the length of the list is not less than or equal to 1, and we can start setting these values here. So the first time in, our number 0 is 5, so we can cross this out and put 5 and our b is still 0. Okay, so we can go for this for loop. It goes for i in range len numbers. Range effectively makes us a list of the indexes inside numbers, which turns out to be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so now that we have this um, list of indexes that is made by range len numbers, we can check each one of these numbers to see if it satisfies the condition in this if statement. And so 5 is not less than 5, and so it doesn't go in. So 44 is not less than 5, 31 is not less than 5, 7 is not less than 5, and 22 is not less than 5. Okay, so we've gone through the entire for loop and nothing happened. So we come down here to the if statement, and our b is still 0 because we never actually satisfied the conditions of the if statement. And so we go into this first um, return statement which adds a plus Mr. Recursive function numbers b plus 1 up. And so the slice b plus 1 up um, basically is the from the first index up because b is 0, so it's numbers 0 plus 1, which is 1, and then that number up. Um, and so it would grab this list here. Okay, and so we can write this back down here. So we have the list of a, and so a is 5. So we have 5 plus, I'm going to use shorthand here, but so we have m for Mr. Recursive Function, which takes in 44, 31, 7, and 22. Okay, so the first round is over, and we have 5 plus Mr. Recursive function of the, this slice of the list, which turns out to be this. Okay, so although it says return here, we need to finish resolving the statements on here. We have the list of 5, and we still have this function that we have to keep going through, because we actually don't have an answer here. Um, it's another layer that we have to go through and try to figure out what this means, and so we have to go back through and start again. So... Once again, we put this back through. We have this new list here. This length is not less than equal to one, so we can go past that. And so you can go into the setup part. So our new um, index zero is 44, and our b is still zero. That stays the same. And so now we have this range of len numbers, and like I said before, it just goes through each of the indexes, but now we have one less here um, which we could ignore, and I can probably just ignore this from um, now on. And just we can assume that we'll go through each one of these um, items in this list in turn. Okay, and so we'll start from the top. So is 44 less than 44? No. It's the same. And then so we can go the second round. Is 31 less than 44? Actually, it is. And so we can cross off this number, and let's make this 31, because, you know... We've gone to the loop, and we've satisfied that. So 31 is less than 44, and b is now set to the current index we're at, which is 1, right? 0, 1, 2, 3. So we're at 1, and so here we are at 1. So we're at 31, 1, and we're done with this if, so we come back to the top of the for loop, and we go to the next one. And so now we check to see if 7 is less than 31, and it is. So we can cross that off, write 7, and cross this off, and write 2. Okay, so we've gone through there, and now we check the last one. So is 22 less than 7? No, it's not. Okay, so we've we've come to the end of this. We've left the for loop, and so now we can go to this if else on the bottom. 
So b is not equal to zero, so we can go into this else here. So else return a, which is seven. So we'll just put it down here. So seven plus the mystery recursive function, which takes in the list of numbers from zero up until index two, because two is b, um, which is zero, one, two, but because slices are exclusive for the ending point, this comes out to the list of 44 and 31. Okay, and then we add this number is b plus one, so because b is two, so that means it goes to index three, and so it goes from three on. So zero, one, two, three, so that's just 22. And so we add the list that is 22, to this, which really just gets added up to be um, the list 44, 31, plus, uh, oops, and 22. But to save on room, I'm just going to leave that. And we're just going to assume that this is just a contiguous list because it basically is. So we've gone two rounds into this recursive function, and it's time for the third. And so we can go back in, we set this up, um, this is the same, but for consistency, we'll cross that out and write in the new number. So in this round, we start with 44, and we start again. So is 44 less than 44? No, it's not. So we can go through that. And so next time around, we have 31. So 31 is less than 44? It is. So we can mark this as 31, and we can mark this as index 1. Okay, and so now you're done with that. We have 22 here. Is 22 less than a? Uh, is 22 less than 31? And yes, it is. So cross this out. Put 22 and index 2. Okay, so we've hit the end of our list, and so we can go down to the if statements again. B is not equal to zero. It's two, and so we can go down here. So we start off with um, the a again. So we have 22 plus m of of the slice of the list up until index 2. So 0, 1, 2, but it's exclusive, so we just have the list of 44 and 31. And then we have the slice of um, 2 plus 1 up, but in Python, um, because it's 0, 1, 2, 3, it just really makes the empty list, which we can largely ignore here. So really, we just have this list 44, 31. OK, so we can go back through here, and we have 44 again. And then we can go back through a loop. So is 44 less than 44? No. And so we can cross that out, or go on to the next one. And so we have 31 now. Is 31 less than 44? It is. So you can put 31 in there, cross this out, and now we're at index 1. And then we're at the end of the list, and so we can return our 31 and add that to our function, which will take in 0 up to 1, so index 1. And that will just be this list of 44. And again, it will try to take the slice of this, but it'll be nothing. But we'll put it there just to show that we <clears throat> so that we can make sure that we can keep track of everything. It'll help us watch out for mistakes or whatever later, but okay, so there's that. Um, so now we're actually at the last iteration, right? We have our list, which is just containing 44, which means that we can hit this if statement here. So if the length of numbers is less than or equal to one, that means we can just return that list of numbers. So actually, now we can just return 44. Okay, and because we've been adding two lists together every time, um, the property of lists adding really just means that we can go off and add these things to one giant list. So every time we've been going through here, we've been taking off a number, putting its own list, and adding it to whatever the recursive function will give us when we run through it with the rest of the numbers. But so for each time, it will keep splitting up and we'll keep having to add that number and we'll keep going further and further. But this effectively just means that we can go and chain all these numbers down. So the final answer as we go through here 
is 5, 7, 22, 31, and 44. So you can also see how these numbers fit together. So this part here replaces this call to M here. And so on. So this part here replaces this call to M here. And this part here replaces this call to M here. And this part here replaces this call to M here. And because if we satisfy this call, this 44 gets put into here, these get added together, which goes back up, replaces this, and so this gets added to these two things which were added together, and etc. So this gets added to these three, and we add 5 to all of them. And again, we come with 5, 7, 22, 31, 44.